please lower the volume of the music. Good afternoon to all our respected leaders, judges, and everyone present here. I am Lampahoy Kilong, and I'm from Kananveng Nori Jose Imphal. I am 17 years of age, and I'm a student of Lodge Star Public School Imphal. My aim in life is to become a modeler. And the reason why I joined this beauty patient is I would like to take this opportunity to promote and thanks giving to all the farmers who always support us. And because of them, other states and other countries also known as well because, uh, for example, because of our pineapple, everyone known us. Thank you. Next, we have our contestant number two. and I'm from Muyaving, Ulamka, Charchanpur. Right. right now, I'm studying my class 12 at Urban College. I'm 17 years of age, and I love singing, dancing, and of course, acting. I aspire to become an aerostress. The reason why I'm here is, as pineapple is a state fruit, and it is one of the largest fruit production, which commercially helps in the states of the economy. And I want to use this contest as a platform to promote more of pineapple for the farmers. Thank you. Now, please welcome contestant number three. Good afternoon, Bunglon. Be who I am, not who the world wants me to be. This is Kontokzam Kavita Chenu, and I'm from Yaripo. Right now, I'm pursuing BS in second semester at DM College of Science. My heart and soul belongs to science, peasantry, and music. I aspire to be an entrepreneur. Today, I'm here to celebrate the 75 years of pineapple cultivation at this particular area and women's femininity at the same time by representing a generation of women who tries to, who push harder themselves to change the world. I see myself as a woman of our own cause and I empower the youth to the base of my capability. If I could encourage the pineapple farmers out here today, and be their voices, that, that would be my biggest achievement for joining this Miss Pineapple competition. And lastly, to God be the glory. Thank you. Say hello to contestant number four.
Good afternoon, judges and people present here today. I am Nemnun Hoi Kong Sai from Hongjin Village Sai School. Recently, I have been graduated LLB at LMS Law College in Fa. I love cooking and my passionate is acting. I love art. I inspired to become a successful business entrepreneur. Last but not the least, I would like to convey my love and respect to the pineapple cultivator because they are the reason and the true owners of the Grand Festival. So, if the farmers are rich, then so is the nation. Thank you, Long Live Pineapple Festival! Let's welcome contestant number five. Once again, a very good afternoon to everyone who gathered here and to their respected judges. I am Hoilam Kim Tolthang, your contestant number five. I am from Pigal Mall. I am 20 years of age. My aim in life is to become a cabin crew. My hobby, I love playing volleyball, cooking, and traveling. And salute to Bo Songfu, the first plant planter of pineapple in 1947, and his pioneer who followed his footsteps. And I pray to God to give blessing to all the farmer and healthy life. To him, China Ding Yimi Pite Hoso Si, Gan Lele Lele, Gatino Holing, thank you, Hane Samute. Lele Lele Thank you. Let's welcome contestant number six. Currently now I am just standard in Narayan Bihari College and I am 18 years old and my hobbies are singing, dancing and playing outdoor games and my aim in life is to become an air hostess. The reason why I'm interested in this pageant is because I really want to inspire those women who think that their body is not perfect, they are weak to achieve their dreams, that if you believe in yourself and always pray to God, everything is possible. And to the farmers, plant more pineapples that also help in financial and also help in changing the climate. Plant more pineapples and bring change in our state. Thank you. Say hello to contestant number seven. Judges, I am your contestant number seven, Irungwang Pinky Debbie. 
22 years old from Moirang. Currently pursuing D farm at Birtik Andrews University, Kansipur. I love modeling and acting. I aspire to become an actress. Today, I'm participating this present due to because to encourage all the women folk to be strong and be able to stand on their own feet. Lastly, I would like to use this platform to promote all the pineapple of these places and to encourage all the farmers who have worked tirelessly to provide us a delightful fruit. Thank you. Let's welcome contestant number eight. Judges, I'm your contestant number eight, Miss Deborah Baite from Panglian Village, Surajanpur District. I'm 18 years of age. Age, I'm mean, sorry. I love dancing and singing, and I have the ambition to become a political, uh, sorry, a politician and a social worker uh, who can uh, bring the peoples and the nations, and also get, give the chance for the development of pine pineapple farming. Thank you. Graduated. My hobbies are doing makeup, playing with pets. My aim in life is to become a veterinary, veterinary doctor. I have a goal for today, which is to be crowned as Miss Pineapple 2022. I'm here to change the stereotypical thinking of the society that only women with tall physique can be crowned in a beauty pageant. I want to be an inspiration to all women out there who feel insecure about their bodies. Pineapples also have thorns, yet bears crowns. So no matter what, be yourself, the crown awaits you. And lastly, I'm thanking the Pineapple Platform for giving me this opportunity, and I hope it will achieve me helping my dreams. Thank you. Bachelor's degree 
I'm a person who loves playing guitar and that becomes my hobby. The reason why I'm here is that I found this platform where I can appreciate the farmers. I give a heartfelt thanks to you all and together we can make our motherland a self-sustainable one. Thank you. your respected jury members. I'm your contestant number 11, Sese Namoy Chong Saofum from Modbung. I am an adventurous person who loves to explore new things. Today, I am here to make myself more confident and carry myself with pride. Also, I am here to promote our state Manipur fruits pineapple and encourage all the farmer who works so hard to harvest a delicious pineapple. Long live pineapple farmers! I'm 18 years of age, currently residing in Kangpukpi. I've just passed my 10 plus 2 at Don Bosco Higher Secondary School, Sanapati. I am a responsible, hardworking, and good at interacting with other people. My hobby includes dancing and watching movies. My aim in life is to become an international air hostess. Tuni, pineapple cultivators, also see to make a insane. Naha Zalin hiti contest and kung zao tein to le hiti hingonga committee hozo si to nga zong kipatu ka insane ahi ka kipa e. from the land of enchanting hills, Chura Chanpur! Like every little girl dreams of wearing a crown someday, I had a dream, the same dream. And it took me 12 years to convince myself that I was good enough to stand on this stage. And I want to thank 75th Pineapple Cultivation for giving us lovely girls this wonderful opportunity to stand here and present ourselves. 
And if my participation here can be beneficial for the pineapple cultivators, I would try my level best because I don't do anything other than best. Giving my best is the only thing that I believe that I want to do in my life. And lastly, if you eat today, thank a farmer. achieve something, you should do your best to acquire it. Good afternoon, respected judges, dear contestants, and well-wishers. I am your contestant number 14, Ningzai Kim Baite from Langol, currently pursuing BA, fifth semester at GM College of Arts. I have a keen interest in reading novels, which became my hobby. As a student, I aspire to become a civil servant, benefiting the society at large. Being a practical lady, I am currently holding the post of Information Secretary at Tribal Student Union. My heart goes out to all the farmers and everyone responsible for organizing this event, which boosts the economy of our pineapple farmers, as well as giving us the opportunity to groom ourselves. It's all because of them that I am able to stand in front of you all and embrace my femininity. And finally, I wish to fulfill my dream to be Miss Pineapple Queen and help in the upliftment of our pineapple farmers as the pineapple industry can really flourish, not only in our state Manipur, but also at the national level. Because with God, everything is possible. Thank you.
your contestant number one, Lampa Khoi Kilong, of age 19, hailing from Kanan Bank. Her aim in life is to become a modeler, and in her leisure time, he loves, she loves to do dancing. of 18, 18 years of age, hailing from New Lamka, Sesipur. She wanted to become an ear hostess and in her leisure time, she loves to do singing, dancing and acting. This is your contestant number three, Kondo Sam Kavita, of 18 years of age, from Yairi Pop. She aims to be an independent woman and she loves doing, she loves singing, reading and listening music. Let's welcome contestant number four, Sana Lentang of 24 years of age, hailing from Cycle Village. She aims to be a teacher or lecturer and she loves cooking and listening music.
Let's welcome contestant number nine, Snowy Lojen, 22 years of age, hailing from Modbong. She wanted to become a veterinary doctor and she loved doing makeup and playing with puppies. This is your contestant number 10, Elise Ching Nai Ling, 19 years of age, hailing from Gangpok B. She wanted to become a cabin crew and she loves singing and cooking. Next, we have contestant number 11, Seishen Lam Hoi Chong, 23 year of age, hailing from Modbong Village. She aims to be a cabin crew and she loves exploring new things. Let's welcome your beautiful contestant number 12, Hatna Iva Kivgen, 18 years of age from Kangpok B. She aims to be an international cabin crew. In her leisure time, she loves dancing and watching movies. Next, we have our contestant number 13, Chen Mokin Simte, 25 years of age, hailing from New Lamka. She aims to fulfill her wishes and dreams, and she loves baking and creating new innovative products. Say hello to contestant number 14, Neng Jai Kim Bai Te, 20 years of age, hailing from Langol, Imphal. She aims to be a civil servant and she loves reading novels. Thank you so much, beautiful ladies. They will be backstage for a while. And I will announce the names of the panel of judges. Be 
Lee Kim Yo Hong Sing Honorable MLA 46 Cycle. Please welcome our gorgeous ladies.
slogan reading. First, I call out contestant number one to come up. Firstly, I would like to thank all the Manipur farmers for their hard work for all the people. And secondly, I would like and secondly, I would like to say that they are also very important employers to the state. Because of their products, our state Manipur are also able to depend on our state's farmers' product, while our other states depend on others. I would like to say that we all have to respect the farmer as we all respect other government employers. Thank you. Thank you. Contestant number one. Next. I would like to request contestant number to come up. Good afternoon, judges. I'm going to read out the, the, the problems regarding pineapple farming. Pineapple is a step fruit and it is one of the largest food production. As we, can, as we can see, pineapple is delicious and provides a lot of nutrients for human body. We can promote pineapple formal in Manipur by creating a social media community for updates of availability. And again, by ensuring the case for bad production of pineapple due to bad weather or bad climate. I would like to request the concerned government of Manipur to take note of the problems which have been faced by the farmers and to promote more of social events like Pineapple Festival, which we have been conducting year for farmers in Manipur. Thank you. Thank you so much, contestant number two. Next, I request contestant number three to come up. Good evening, everyone. To promote the farmers is to level up our health and lifestyle because they are the ones who feed us every single day. Growing up in a pineapple farmer's family, I realized that it is the lack of government support that makes the lives of farmers becoming more and more day by day. I think that it's time to make more farmers clubs so that we can promote our local organic pineapple globally I'd like to draw the attention of government and NGOs to work more on this. We have to give the farmers more machines and other aids so that they can compete globally. Let's save our pineapple farmers. Let's save our products. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much, contestant number three. Next, I request contestant number four to read out your slogan. Hello. Once again, good evening, judges and people out here. Before I read out my slogan, let this festival bring the foster spirit of unity and brotherhood. Thank you. Let me start reading my slogan. My slogan regarding pineapple farming. At the very outset, I give a huge respect and salute to the farmers that is pineapple cultivators because they are the reason why this kind of big festival can be celebrated. So, farmers play a big role in our life. They are the proprietor of our foods or educator of foods. They create an opportunity to sell fresh organic food. They deserve the best respect in life. 
I believe government should provide low rate of interest, insurance of cultivation. As well, they can also provide the needs of fertilizer, pesticide, and HYVC. I, Ms. Nemnun Hoi Khongsai, would like to promote them as a Miss Pineapple Queen 2022. Thank you! Thank you, contestant number four. Next is contestant number five. Once again, a very good evening to everyone who gathered here and to their judges. Now I'm going to read it out, my slogan. All the way from Brazilian rainforest, travel a fruit so majestic yet so modest. A taste that could satisfy the craving of the riches to the poorest. Salute to Pu Songpu Gangte, who was the first planter of pineapple in 1947, and other pioneer and everyone who walked the lane. Their days and nights spent to raise their, this plant and pray that their effort and time pays in abound. Let's welcome, contribute, and convince the fruit to stay and make our state fruit in this wonderful land we live in today. Thank you. Thank you, contestant number five. Next is contestant number six. Good afternoon to you all once again and to dear judges. To promote pineapple farming, and my slogan is, Pineapple is a fruit that is very useful in human life. From this fruit, I have learned that we have to stand tall, wear our own crown, and always be sweet from the inside. And to the farmers, we should be hardworking to achieve what, what is planned for us. Farmers do not work till the sun goes down. They work till the sun goes down. And to believe in our work. And to believe in our work. Thank you. Thank you so much, contestant number six. Next, I call upon contestant number seven to come up to read out your slogan. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, judges. Once again, I myself, Pinky Hirungbom from Moirang. My slogan goes like this. First of all, I want to thank to all the farmers Malam sedar lagi ribas simpan kudi makta. Yang nama ru orang ribas simpan mama hayu hari gadi farmers ni. Tunga he na saukat pa orang sunu hai na isorda thousand nizari. Lastly, we should be a tough like outside, but we should be sweet and kind in the inside like a pineapple. Thank you. Thank you so much, contestant number seven. Next is contestant number eight. Good afternoon, folks. I hope you all enjoy it. Let me start my slogan. Work hard with patience and hope to fulfill the duties and service of farmers without any hesitation. So I would like to invite all the farmers to work hard as there is no work which is not difficult, all works are the same. Even though some people look down upon the farmers, they are not the ones who feed us, who give us our daily needs, which is associated to our daily needs. Thank you. Thank you, contestant number eight. Next, I call upon contestant number nine. Good evening, everyone. Here's my slogan. Uh, farmers are the roots of what we can eat today, whether it be fruits, veggies, and rice. Most of the time, they do not get the respect they deserve, people not knowing their vote. Plant more pineapple because the future needs more vitamin in terms of a yellow slice called pineapple. We should give them the respect they deserve. I stand with the farmers. Thank you. Thank you so much, contestant number nine. Next, I welcome contestant number 10. Good evening, one and all. I'm gonna recite my slogan, and it goes like this. Since cultivation is an important element 
in our day-to-day -day life, we must contribute ourselves and take advantage on cultivation through helping the organic farmer. And I personally think that we should pay more attention in the relationship between the fruit we eat, that is pineapple, and the farmer. Last but not the least, let's all be like pineapple, standing tall, sweet on the inside. When life gives us lemon, let's sell them and buy pineapple. Thank you. Have a wonderful evening! Thank you, contestant number 10. Next, I welcome contestant number 11. Once again, a very good evening, everyone! The slogan theme was, how would you promote the pineapple farmers? And here is my answer. Being one of the Miss Pineapple Queen contestants, I would like to promote pineapple farmers by celebrating Pineapple Festival. People should be made aware of the history and motive behind the celebration of the festival. We could even spread this festival and promote pineapple at maximum level throughout the region and expanding the market of pineapple farmers because market plays a big role in promoting pineapple. This can be achieved by implementing systematic strategy in selling the products. Exporting pineapple can promote the farmers and bring fame to each origin Manipur. Lastly, when the farmer is healthy and happy, the country will be rich. God bless Pineapple Farms and all the Pineapple Farmers. Thank you. Thank you so much, contestant number 11. Next, I call upon contestant number 12. Good evening, everyone. My name is Satneva Kipgen. First of all, I would like to thank all the community for organizing the Pineapple Festival. I would like to thank all the farmers for cultivating this pineapple, which is tasty and sweet. Keep on cultivating these tasty pineapple fruits. It is also good for business also. Thanks to the farmer for cultivating and always makes us tasty fruit. Thank you. Thank you, contestant number 12. Next, I call upon contestant number 13 to come up. Good evening, everyone. I'm your contestant number 30, and here goes my slogan. A modern woman is like a pineapple. She is tough on the outside and sweet on the inside. She stands tall with her crown, but not with pride, with humility. She educates the mass with her knowledge. She tells the world the benefits of pineapple. She is rooted in her own roots. Just like the farmer rooted to pineapple cultivation, the juices of the pineapple carries the essence of the pineapple farmer's blood. Jai Jawan, Jai Kisan. Long live labor, unity, and farmers. Thank you. Thank you so much, contestant number 13. Next, I call upon contestant number 14. Good evening, respected judges, dear contestants, and well-wishers. I feel so privileged to stand in front of you all. Be like a pineapple. Do not let other negativity affect the goodness within. That is an original slogan written by me. People in general have the tendency to look down upon farmers as they are mere laborers or work for the owners of the pineapple farm. But I want to encourage our pineapple farmers not to let other negativity affect the goodness within. This mindset of people can be changed by letting the pineapple industry, a government undertaking, providing a steady monthly base income to the pineapple farmers. Use of scientific machinery along with modern tools will boost the production of the pineapple per hectare and thereby improving the livelihood of our farmers to a great extent. To God be the glory. Thank you. Thank you so much, contestant number 14. The contestant will be backstage for a while.
Taurum Masigi Makaja Tazarapoina Mon Hangzo Ishakudol Dambina Bastesa Kaukachari Now it's time to announce the top seven finalists.
and the results are in my hands. The first contestant to make it to the top seven finalists is contestant number It's your contestant number two, Florence Palhoi Kim. And the next contestant to make it to the top seven is contestant number... Contestant number five, Hoi Lam Kim Tau Thang. And the next contestant we are having is contestant number It's your contestant number 4 Sana Lanthang And the next contestant to make it to the top seven is contestant number any cases. Contestant number seven, Pinky Devi. And the next contestant we are having is Contestant number It's your contestant number 10 Elish Ching Nai Ting And the next contestant Who makes it to the top 7 is Contestant number Contestant number 8 Deborah Baite. Still alive in the comp competition is Miss Nengjai Kim Baite, contestant number 14. Thank you so much, all the beautiful ladies. Further on, we have question round for the top seven finalists.
Hausik Bangtha Kadoriba Top 7 finalist ke question round si Aikoi na thamzari ba Judge Singh Judge Singh ki number yao raba paper singh si randomly pick ta raba matung da Contestant singh si the individually darak pa judge singh aduna question singh si hang bigani Let's start with contestant number two. A C chooses judge number one. Hello, operator Tehan, microphone, he had on the ideal judge day. Judge number one. Hello, Florence. Hello, sir. I na namo da hangado riseko. Sir, could you please please speak in English? Okay, okay, okay. Sorry for that. It's okay. It's fine. So. Hope that you maybe the first. Position by me. I'm. I'm also thinking that. So that is why I'm asking you. The number one is. I want to ask you one thing is. Do you know the name of the first cultivators of Khausabung pineapple? The first cultivator. Of the Khaosabung pineapple, do you know the name? Sorry, sir, I don't know the answer. Okay, another one. Another question. What about the taste of the Khaosabung pineapple? Thank you for the question, sir. The previous, the the past days, I have come here and I have tasted the taste of pineapple, and some are sweet and mostly some are sour. So it really depends uh, on the soil, how they cultivate and how they sown sown the pineapple. It it has it has its own versatiles and it has its own taste. So they are all taste good, but then it has its own different. Different taste. Okay. It, my last question is if you win this uh, uh, contest mm. and uh, uh, then the prizes, if you got some something, some prize, mm. you may get. And uh, uh, how to use for uh, the that prizes? Well, thanks, thank you once again for the question, sir. If I win Miss Pineapple and if I got the money, 
Definitely, I will work for the farmers of Pineapple who have been working hard. That is good. Thank you. Thank you very. Thank you very much. Sorry, yes, I'm not complete. Hmm. I'm thank not yet complete. Yeah. Thank. If I got the cash of money, definitely I will use it for the farmers who have been working hard under the sun, under the rain to provide such a delicious and different kind of versatile uh, pineapple for us. And I will invest it to, to some extent so that they could produce more of pineapple in our states. Thank you. Thank you very much, Florence. Thank you. Thank you, contestant number two. Aduga, I could get judges sing, Julia Biriba sing the Isaac the Bawa from Makana. Contestant sing the question hung with Madam the question Amamam Kaktang hung Bina but no look na hijadi. And next, we will go on with contestant number four. Her judge number is judge number six. My ancestor called it Lengkis and a lay bang, my young lucky won't go eat. Eminem called it the pineapple, my peel called it Lengkis. Congratulations for making it till the top seven. Thank you. My question to you is, how do you define yourself as a woman? Option is being a modern woman or a traditional woman. Should I repeat the question? Yes. What does it mean to be a modern woman? Thank you, ma'am, for your question. And thank you so much for a privilege and honor to stand in front of you all. And for the question, being a model, for me, a model means, a woman means, is a sense of, uh, woman is uh, the origin of the child. Like it said, a very famous Miss former universe, Susmita Sen, said that being the essence of woman is the origin of the child. And they produce child, they bear, they share love, kind, and share. Likewise, I want to possess myself being like that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Wilson. Thank you so much, contestant number four. Next, we will have contestant number 10. It's the same as contestant number four. Her judge number is judge number six. Good evening, contestant number 10, Alice Jing Nei Ting. Good evening, ma'am. Yes, and my question to you is, how different would the world be if women were to rule the world? Uh, sorry, ma'am, can you please repeat the question? How different would the world be if women were to rule the world? Thank you for the question. If women were to rule the world, then I think uh, everything will be changed like we can uh, make our homeland a self-sustainable one and we can we will uh, we will know how to adjust ourselves and then how how to uh, how to valuable the adoptable one for uh, in us and then um, we can change uh, the way of ruling each other and then we can change a lot of things thank you ma'am Okay, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Contestant number 10, we will go on to contestant number 14. Hers is just 
नंबर टू Good evening. Namza ke baithe. Good evening sir. You look okay. stunning. Okay. Just I am asking some a simple question. For in your opinion, what is the perfect woman? The simple your your opinions give some few words. <clears throat> Obviously many people have different opinion. So my opinion might differ to most of the people's opinion right here. So please pardon me if my opinion is different from yours. To me, being a woman, a girl, when you embrace your femininity, uh, look after your family, and finally when you give birth to a child, that is the essence of being a woman. And I would encourage everyone to stand up for themselves. Thank you. Okay, okay. Good luck, good luck. Thank you. Thank you so much, contestant number 14. We will go on to contestant number 8. She is picking up for judge number 5. ไปในโปรเฟสติวัลดอมารีเลยนะนะงั้นสิ่งที่ฟังช่วยบ้างไอ้คนที่เอ่อบิวตี้การเทียร์ไซต์อะไรก็ไม่จำนะเซย์เซ
sir. Uh, good evening, thank you. Good evening, sir. Maitero dahangura, Mr. Mura. I maitero dahangage. Ah, hi, sir. Nagna pile apple, pineapple quill, yawbagi maram. Okay. Pineapple quill, yawbagi kanamada karilo, ado dahiro. Okay, thank you for a beautiful question, sir. Once again, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, judges. I know that pineapples are the only thing I can say. Pineapple is the only thing that you can do. Thank you. I know that the only thing that you can do. And lastly, I would like to say that farmers are the only thing Hujuk leh riba potok si dagi hena matung tarak pada su hena potok yam na hot na potok bangam bau oib oib rasanu aina isorda tau nizari. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hello, hello. What did that? Kau isah dapat katang nang dah kumam me, pau kumam awal le. Okay. Nang dah adu pai depan kuil jauh bagi marum di piram me. Okay. Adu ke pai depan kuil jauh benda kan apa kali lawa. Thank you, sir. Pineapple Queen Yauri but Yauri Yauri but can never say. Um, I call you talent. Amadi, I call you Fazza Babu. Miamda Utsaningwa. Thank you. Thank you so much, contestant number seven. Our last contestant is contestant number five. Say, speaking up, judge number three. Uh, good evening, Hoilin. Hoilin Kim Tau Thang. Good evening, sir. Okay, okay. My simple question is, do you enjoy Pineapple Festival? If yes, why? Yes, I enjoy Pineapple Festival because <laughs> there are many people who is coming here today and I joined her as a contest and I, and I feel it is very fun to come here to promote about Pineapple and it is nice seeing all my friends supporting me. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, perfect. Thank you so much, all the contestants. And I request all the contestants to be backstage for a while. And music, please. Finalist.
Now it's time to announce the top five finalists. Yes, we have come so far where we begin with 14 contestants and only seven women are still running. But now the seven is about to become five. It's obvious that we are all excited to know who have come up to top five until now. The first contestant to make it to the top five finalists is Contestant number, contestant number, that is your contestant number four, Sana Lentang. Next. Earning the second spot in the top five years. Contestant number. That is your contestant number five, Hoi Lam King Tau Thang. Five women are still hooping to the next round, but only three spots is left. And keeping her dream alive is contestant number. Contestant number. That is your contestant number seven, Pinky Devi. The fourth contestant to make it to the top five finalists is contestant number. That is your contestant number 10, Ele Xing Neiling. Only one spot is left and still alive in the competition is contestant number contestant number 14 Neng Zai Kim Bai Jing. Thank you so much to all the lady behind for the beautiful job. Furthermore, we have another round that is common question round that the five contestants will give answer to the one common question. And all the contestants, please be seated. Three minutes will be given to them. And when I say time up, they have to stop. Just inform them. 
three minutes will be will be given to you for this question. And please uh, write your name and contestant number.
only 10 seconds left. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Your time is up now. The contestants are going to read out exactly what they have written down and I request all the judges to be ready. I, re I requested all the contestants to stand up. First, I call upon contestant number four, Sana Lentang, to come up. Hello, 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 hello. Answer I have given. Let me read out loud. The music of the Minabak Kanganja. The suggestion and the development for them. I would like to please give turn off the music. I would like to give three points. That is the suggestion and development that I would like to give them is three points. Number one, pineapple cultivator deserve love and respect. Number two, I humble request to them is that they should have continued the hard working. Number three, they should have flourished the pineapple all over the Manipur and rest of the country because they are the backbone to our society. If the farmers are rich, then so is the nation. Thank you. Thank you so much, contestant number four. Next is contestant number five, Hoi Lam King Tau Thang. I'm going to read it out the three things that I wrote. One, to make online advertising and make many people to take interest. Two, as most farmers are not well educated and they are not aware of their scenario, so to make awareness program as many as possible. Three, to maintain their financial and other resources and plant many pineapple more. Thank you. Thank you, contestant number five. Next is contestant number seven. Once again, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. In my opinion, 
pineapple singbu chaukhat pa puragna bagi damakta aikhoina farmer singbu matam manghandana akhangkan baga loinana suba nomba suba nomba asina mai hena pakani haina khanje amasung manipur gi cm cm na mateng khajik tang oraba su farmer singgi awaba bu kokna bagi damakta mideng changhan jiningi loinana lastly i would like to say that I quit from the magna. Oh, I am not hard. I am a saggy color. See, how's it lady? Ba, Fibam Sidagi, Hena for Hangani, Haina, Aina Taze, Maramaduna, Praza, quite from the Maxu. Oh, I am not happy. Duna, I quaggy, Akan, I quaggy, Nusanung Zubu, Madam Sana, Suhalabadi, Pineapple, I see, Hena promoto, Gani Haina, Aina Kanze. Thank you. Thank you so much. Contestant number seven. Next is. Contestant number 10. Good evening, once again. My answer goes, my answer goes like this. Three suggestion for development of cultivation of pineapple is organic farming, hard work, and patience. Because when the pineapple cultivation is cultivating being organic, people will love to choose more, and farmer would surely achieve their hard work through cultivation of pineapple. Thank you. Thank you so much. Contestant number ten. Next is contestant number fourteen. Good evening once again. I am your contestant number 14. The three points are, one, Manipur have the perfect climatic conditions for growing pineapples. So government must invest on the farmers to ensure better livelihood. Second, using scientific machinery to boost the production. And thirdly, Government must provide a monthly base income to the farmers because with God everything is possible. Thank you. Music. Thank you so much, all the contestants may all head backstage. Ma an 
It's obvious that all are eager to hear the subtitle winners, runners up and winners. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have different subtitles to be awarded to our winners. And I have already and I already have the results in my hand. We will soon declare the subtitle winners. Without any further delay, best personality goes to contestant number three hundred. The subtitle for Best Personality Award goes to Jimnon Kim Simte. Contestant number 13. And to honor, I requested Sri Tongam Santi Singh. And for the next subtitle, we have Best Model. And And for the subtitle of best model, we have contestant number 
Contestant number Contestant number two, Florence Bifai. And to do the honor, I would like to call on the stage Shrimati Kim Nyo Hang Shing, Honorable MLA 46 Cycle. Best model. And next, we have the subtitle for Best Costume. Traditional. For the Best Traditional Costume, let's welcome contestant number... Contestant number... The contestant number six, winner of best traditional costume, Miss Rachel Kom. And to do the honor, I would like to call on stage Sri Lajjamang Haukib, Honorable MLA 57, Hang Lab. Now, the subtitle for the best slogan goes to contestant number. Let's welcome contestant number five, Hoi Len Kim Tau Tang, for the best slogan. And to do the honor,
And to do the honor, I may request Bu Lethwilal, social worker, to be on stage. Bu Lethwilal, I'm here. Bu Lethwilal. Oh, oh, sorry. Bu Achunzo, project director. Manipur Pineapple Fisher Committee, project director Bu Achunko. Thank you so much. And for the subtitle of Best Pineapple Promoter, the subtitle for Best Pineapple Promoter goes to contestant number Annie Gaysis. The subtitle for the Best Pineapple Promoter goes to Contestant number 12, Hatnaiba Kivgin. And to do the honor, I may request Poonalalal. Poonalalal. Sharto to be on stage. Chief Organizer of Manipur Pineapple Festival Committee, Manipur. Bhutandana Sarato, Chief Organizer, MPFC. Last but not the least, the subtitle for the best designer goes to the designer of contestant number. Contestant number. The subtitle for the best designer goes to the designer of contestant number 10, Ele Xing Leilin. And to do the honor, I may request Pu Hanshim, Chief of Bunglon, to be on stage.
Thank you so much. We have come half a mile, I think. And only the runners up and the winners are left to announce. Without any further delay, I will announce the second runner sub of the Pineapple Queen Contest 2022. The second runner sub goes to the second runner sub goes to. Contestant number seven, Pinky Davy. And I request. And to do the honor, I request Sri Kim Nyo, Sri Mati Kim Nyo Hang Shing to be on stage. Thank you so much. Only two were left. First runner up and the title winner of this Queen Pineapple Contest 2022. The first runner up goes to Before that, I may take the opportunity of calling upon former first runners up of Miss Pineapple Queen Contest, Lea Mangte, to be on stage. Music, please. The first runner sub of the Queen Pineapple Contest 2022 goes to contestant number 
contestant number 14, Nings I Kim And the former first runners up of Queen Pineapple Contest, Leon Monte, will do the honor. Thank you so much. First, I may take the pleasure of inviting former title winner of Miss Pineapple Queen Contest, Jenny Sontag, to be on stage. Uh, please give a round of applause. Miss Pineapple Queen Contest 2022 is left to announce and I request three of the contestants to hold your hands and stay in. We are all very excited to know the winner of this Miss Pineapple Queen Contest 2022 and without any further delay, I will announce the winner of Miss Pineapple Queen Contest 2022 goes to Yes, you guess it right Contestant number four, Sana Lethang! I request all the contestants to stay at the stage.
Everyone, please give a big round of applause. And congratulate you all the winners, subtitle winners, and all the contestants of today's peasant. And again, we will hand over a memento to the first runners up and second runners up of today's Pineapple Queen contest. And the memento for the first runners up will be hand over by the secretary of the Manipur Pineapple Festival Committee Manipur, Sir Gin Gangte. And for the second runners up, Chairman of the Manipur Pineapple Festival Committee, Manipur Silent Man Kong Sai, will do the honor. And I request all the contestants to come up to do a photo session. A group photo session. A group photo session with the VIPs. Today's chief guest, guest of honor, host, and president of the function. Hello, Pineapple uh, Festival Committee Ten Tunitaka Festival Mangaong Te Cheng Cheng Chunga Kipak Tu Avel Avel in Kongen Kitoa Kumkile Jisanga Hoizo Imate in a ding on the Bona Panlachi ding in Committee Telama Patin Evaking Geno He Pineapple Festival Committee would like to thank each one of you for making this program a grand success and hope to see you in. Uh, the next edition, 2023. Uh, till then, bye. Ngasi Taragamonga Superstar Level Manipur Pineapple Festival the Leng Biraktuna Mapung Fahan Bidi Bakwai Kuding Magpo Amokahan Nathaga Chabagaloi Nena Ikok No Na Kurum Jari Amadi Matangi Chahili Singani Kunga Humdoi Desu Asigumna He Na Mai Pak Na Chau Na Mayam Pun Na Pun Minakisi Hai Na Tham Jari